Hey YouTube, this is Donald and today, or tonight, I'm going to review a game called Excite Bike on the NES. Now, this game says programmable series, meaning that you can save custom tracks on the NES, but the only problem is, this game was copied and made before the battery backup. The reason for this is because on the Famicom version you need a data recorder to save custom tracks on cassette tapes with. But when it comes to the NES version, I'm afraid you can't because the Famicom data recorder or family keyboard was never released in the US because when it comes to the NES, they were Nintendo was far more focused on marketing a toy rather than a family computer. So I guess you can say the Nintendo ABS that was sent in the Consumer Electronics Show never saw the light of day. So, enough about this. Let's just pop the game in and show you what it's like. Uh, oops. Experiencing some technical problems. Let me just make sure this thing's working properly. There we go. Oh, and see this menu? As you can see, this thing can save custom tracks, but unfortunately it can't because there was no way to save custom tracks in the US, only in Japan. Like I say. So let's play section B, selection B. Let's try track number one. Here's how it works. Up and down, turn your... You press A to accelerate while you move up to turn... To turn up. And press down to turn down. As for the B button. This game is also available on NES Remix, where it acts like more of a challenge than the, the traditional game. However, you can download this game in, in the Nintendo Wii or Wii U Virtual Console. Looks like I got a new record. Oh, and you can pause the game. But anyway... You can download this game on the Nintendo Wii or Wii U Virtual Console on the Nintendo eShop. And the emulator can emulate saving data from the data recorder on the NES version of the Virtual Console version of, the, of Excitebike. There's other games that has that programmable series tag on it, like Mock Rec, also Mock Rider and and Wrecking Crew have that. They're identical to the Famicom versions. But anyway, there's more tracks along the way on this game, but you guys get the idea. But in conclusion, I wouldn't really recommend this game for the original NES unless you can emulate it on I say just emulate this game on the Nintendo eShop if you want to save custom tracks. Other than that this game is is a pretty good game. 
definitely worth owning for collecting purposes, of course. But if you only want to play the real deal levels that are programmed within the game, and if you don't want to save custom tracks, then yeah, you can certainly get this. Because it'll just do that instead of saving custom tracks. This game is also available on the on the Nintendo 3DS 3D Classic series. And also, this game is available on the Game Boy Advance NES Classic series. But anyway. And also on the e-reader version. Which the e-reader and the NES Classic series are identical to each other completely removing the save feature. But anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about. Well, of course I do, but I'm sure you guys don't know what I'm talking about. If you want to find out what I'm talking about, be my guest to search for it. But anyway, but anyway, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and like the video, and yeah, I'll see you on the next video. This is me, signing off.